So we're counting down the days now until Crystal Palace and the, the restart of the Premier League. Where is the squad in terms of where you'd like it to be? Yeah, good. I think we've um, worked hard, worked well, worked smart, hopefully. Um, a lot of trying to reenact what will happen in terms of behind closed doors games and trying to get the players adjusted to the environment and the surroundings that they will play, they will play in. So we're happy with how things have gone. Um, hopefully the lads feel confident. And how is this mini pre-season, if you like, compared to a normal pre-season? Yeah, very different. I think normally with six weeks we would uh, work the hard, players harder than we have done. I think we've tried to get the mix of work and recovery um, more balanced because with such a small window before you play again, I think the danger is you you cram too much work in and the players are fatigued. So we tried to keep them fresh, um, able to uh, do the work, be fit enough to play, but hopefully uh, keep the squad intact. And the availability, any early team news for Crystal Palace? Um, well, I'll wait and see how we, we settle down after this game before before saying too much. We've got um, not normal things when you have training, you're always going to pick up one or two problems. So we'll wait and see how we, uh, as I say, uh, how we settle down this week and hopefully we'll be I'll give you team news next week. And it's a completely different situation. Of course, we're here and there's no fans here, unfortunately, to, to watch the game. How have you prepared yourself and the squad in terms of, of that different sort of paradigm to play in front of? Well, as I said, lots of um, behind closed doors games and trying to get the, the strange feeling that the games will be because they're going to be totally different. The supporters really do make the games and I think um, that does take some some adjustment from everybody, um, especially for the players when they, they thrive off the energy the crowd give them. So we're going to be missing that at home. Hopefully that's um, something we can combat. And of course, then the, the opposing teams when we play away will be missing that as well. So hopefully we can thrive off that change. And of those opposing teams, how have you been able to tactically analyse them and, and what they'll sort of do in terms of their restarts? In terms of the teams we're playing? Well, I think we've, we've very much had to feed off the, the footage that we've had from before the season ended. I don't think teams will change too much. Uh, personnel might, might differ, but I think in terms of systems and tactics, I think teams will be, will be pretty similar. And how ready do you think you and, and the squad are? I'm certainly ready, but I'm not playing. So, um, uh, no, I think the players are ready to play now. I think there's been a long wait during lockdown and, and that dynamic. That was a, a long period for the players who had to keep themselves fit and ready um, if the season resumed. Um, it is going to. Um, we're happy with where we are now. The, the important thing is the last nine games.